Hey everybody, this is Rob. I wanted to do a quick review of the Bad Boy Pro Series Focus Mitts by Rev Gear. Um, all right, just a couple of measurements here. This uh, this mitt weighs around 353 grams, which in real people units is around 12 and a half ounces. It is roughly seven and a half inches wide and roughly 10 inches tall. Um, first thing you notice out of the box that is that uh, this it is an all leather glove. It's uh, good soft leather. Uh, the leather is relatively thin um, and it is not glued to the padding behind it. You can kind of see it move with my thumb, uh, but it is all leather. Um, the construction all the seams look fairly nice, about what you'd expect uh, for this uh, quality of glove. I like the look of the back of the glove. It's uh, got a kind of professional all leather feel. A lot of the cheaper gloves that I've used have uh, just the glove on the back without this, this leather shroud. I do like that. Uh, the graphic on the front of the glove, it is uh, okay to me. It was very important for me not to have the center target in the middle that's sewn on uh, because they tend to uh, tear up your knuckles after you've hit them for a while. Uh, the graphic, I don't really love the aggressive nature of it, but it, it does do a very good job of uh, you know letting you know when the target's available to be hit. So there is a kind of a stark contrast there, which is kind of nice. Um, Cost of these, I paid $63 to include shipping uh, for this new pair on eBay. From the feeder standpoint, the person holding the gloves, they're extremely comfortable. This glove uh, has five individual fingers inside of it. And there's also, it's really nice, there's a um, hockey puck, a little small hockey puck sized uh, extra piece of padding there that goes right underneath your palm and what that does is it really gives you uh, a good feeling of control when the glove's on i don't feel like i need to have the glove strapped down to really hold the glove to my hand this this little hockey puck size thing inside of it really gives me uh, a, a good feeling and also it adds an extra piece of uh, about three quarter inch piece of padding to this which uh, 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 it is right where right where you need it so they didn't waste padding putting you know a real thick heavy piece all the way around it's right there in the center where it's going to be um, the width of these things I didn't really measure this earlier but it looks like the overall padding width is somewhere around uh, around two inches at the top and around two and three quarter inches towards the bottom uh, and with that extra three quarter inch in the center it's pretty good padding it is a lightweight glove it feels good the strap doesn't get in your way uh, the glove leather feels like a uh, like a lightweight pair of construction gloves or even a driving glove, uh, but I do like this better than some of the others that have the wrist strap because that wrist strap really gets in my way. And with that puck in the middle, I really don't feel like it's necessary to strap it down tight on my hand. Uh, I wear a men's size large glove. Um, and my hand fits in there just fine. My fingers come to about right here. Uh, I guess if you have really long fingers, this glove may be, uh, may be start getting to be too small for you, but I think for, for regular sized people, uh, this is just fine. We have a girl in our class that's used this and she was extremely uh, uh, fond of this glove because it seemed to fit her hand better. And I think it has to do with that puck in the middle given their control and there is easy adjustment, uh, adjustability on the, on the hand size. Um, from the striker's perspective, uh, I really like hitting this glove. Again, I've only used it for uh, two days now, so I'm not sure about the overall durability, but, but from a striking perspective, I really like the glove. It has a nice, solid feel uh, when you hit it. I think the curved mitt really helps you uh, uh, always kind of find that sweet spot, so I do like that. Uh, it's it's very comfortable to hit and again, you know, uh, it, it's really easy for the feeder to, to, to let you know when it's time to strike. Uh, it's uh, really good for, for, for jabs, crosses, hooks, overhands, uh, uppercuts. It feeds all of those real well. Uh, I wouldn't uh, really take any kicking unless it was just kind of some light low kicks or something like that. But again, these are focus myths. They're meant for punching and not kicking. Uh, overall, extremely comfortable glove. Uh, I, I think I got my money's worth out of it. Um, 
And uh, well, I hope you appreciated my review. And uh, if there's any other questions you have, just please ask me and uh, uh, I'll try to get back to you. Thank you.